Two-hour hearing in a packed courtroom in the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan. 28-year-old activist and hacker Jeremy Hammond was sentenced to 120 months behind bars. He's going to spend the next decade in jail. In March 2012, Hammond was arrested for breaking into 200 gigabytes of 5 million emails of information of private security firm Stratfor and leaking this information to transparency organization WikiLeaks. In these emails, it was revealed that the private security firm was spying on human rights activists upon the request of corporation and the U.S. government. Earlier, Hammond had pled guilty to one count of the Computer Abuse and Fraud Act. This was a classic case of whistleblowing where uh, malfeasance and criminal activity by a private corporation on behalf of both corporations and the government was exposed. The government and the judge felt that the idea of causing mayhem or causing destruction was incompatible with Jeremy's stated political goals and um, and the, we disagree with that. Some of Hammond's supporters have dubbed him the Robin Hood of our times. The defense team inside the courtroom argued that he fought for the better good, trying to bring about real change to the system and shed more light on what the U.S. government was doing. The prosecution, however, said that he stole the numbers of 60,000 credit cards, causing a damage of one to $2.5 million to businesses and individuals. If people who have influence and people who care do not stand up and defend people like Jeremy, the judge said that he is not, uh, you know, a Mandela or Dr. King. I was a civil rights activist. Jeremy is every much as a progressive humanist, as the spirit of those leaders, as, as we said in the defense. He was motivated by his political beliefs, his desire for transparency, and his desire to highlight what's wrong with the private security industry and with government surveillance. A total of 265 letters from journalist, activists, human and constitutional rights groups were sent to the judge asking for Jeremy Hammond to be released. Also, 36 prominent freedom of information activists uh, sent their request to the courthouse. However, the huge public support for Jeremy Hammond did not affect the judge's decision. Jeremy Hammond, um, you know, Edward Snowden, Chelsea, you know, Chelsea Manning, this is all one struggle and we all need to rise up and let people know the truth. If we don't have Jeremy Hammonds, if we don't have Edward Snowdens, if we don't have Chelsea Mannings, Barrett Browns, we don't have a free press. This sentence comes on the heels of the NSA scandal, continuing the debate on what should and should not be kept secret in the U.S. and for how long the unprecedented war on whistleblowers will continue, as well as the war on freedom of information. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.